Now to the East European nation of Georgia, where pro-family groups are protesting plans by LGBTQI supporters to hold a parade event in the capital city this week. Georgia, one of the oldest Christian countries in the world, has been fighting an aggressive gay and lesbian agenda for years, largely funded by liberal groups in the United States and Europe. Scuffles broke out this week on the streets of Tbilisi, the capital, between those for and against the Pride event. The head of Georgia's Orthodox Church believes holding the Pride events will offend Georgia's largely Christian society, and he urged gay activists to call, call off their plans. Levan Vasadze, a leading pro-life advocate, said his country will not accept a sexual lifestyle that runs contrary to Georgia's family traditions and Christian values. We still have a very strong sense of virtue and sin. Sin is something to be ashamed of. And we will not allow normalization, glorification, and celebration of sin. This is not our way. Joining me now from the capital city of Tbilisi is Levan Vasatze. He's been playing a vital role in pushing back against the LGBTQ agenda in Georgia. Levan, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, you believe there are certain liberal groups, primarily in the United States, that are trying to erode Georgia's Christian heritage and values, right? Hi, George. Um, yes, and I wish he was only in Georgia. I actually wish he wasn't in Georgia or anywhere else in the world. But we know that this is the ugly heritage uh, from the uh, uh, last two decades, basically, of the liberal uh, domination, which befell upon the world after the uh, collapse and, thank God, collapse of the Marxism. And when we lived inside Soviet Union, we longed for the Western freedom. We looked at the United States as the shining city on the hill, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of uh, private enterprise. And what a disappointment it has been. Little did we know that in that time, an erosion of basic fundamental Western American, if you'd like, values was on the on the way and when we met the picture was completely different in this poor country where uh one percent of population lived below the poverty line when soviet union collapsed now ten percent of population live below that line and um, we have halved in population from six million to three three million largely because of the unlimited liberal policies on abortion un has placed us on the uh, list of endangered nations and languages, and basically we're being exterminated. Yeah. And this looks like the last coffin now in, in, in our, the last nail in our coffin. Uh, Levan, uh, LGBTQ activists say they will hold the Tbilisi Pride event even though they don't have permission from your country's Ministry of Internal Affairs. What's your reaction to this? We are worried for them. Yesterday they had a, a huge interactive live on the main television channel, and uh, people were asked, do you want the pride to be held, the so-called pride to be held? I, we don't understand what's there to be proud of. Uh, and 97% uh, of people said no, and 3% said yes. And so we see a clear and present danger of violence. And because our uh, fragile puppet state is under tremendous pressure by the likes of George Soros, the U.S. Embassy here, unfortunately, uh, uh, we said that if our government cannot protect these people, we will. And so we called on the uh, conservative, what you call conservative, basically, you know, hardworking men, uh, fathers of families. We said, let's go there. And if they still do it, and if uh, our foolish police tries to hold a, some sort of a shield there, we're worried about... They're trying, basically, what the, their plot is to turn us into a mob, and we don't want to allow it. And so we said, we'll go in there with empty hands, white handkerchiefs on our hands, break through the, poli the police cordons, and remove whoever is there before something terrible happens to them, including those uh, foreign ambassadors, if they dare to do this, and just, just get them out of there, you know? And, of course, because of that, we are the aggressors, we are the violent... Uh, cannibals uh, who cannot tolerate uh, uh, other kind. And 
Uh, you know, I think it comes down to a, a cultural depth, and I, I think it comes to comes to the utter shallowness of globalists who think that everyone should be the same. They don't understand that cultures are fundamentally different, and if whatever norms Western societies, we, which we want to be friends with, uh, have come to through their natural organic evolution, cannot be you know, a quantum leaped and imposed upon us because we have our course of history and there's nothing we can be taught about tolerance. I was meeting with the legendary Israeli president Shimon Peres once in, in uh, Jerusalem and uh, I was shocked when he said, because everybody knows that Georgia is regarded as the only non-anti-Semitic country in the history of the world. Jews have lived here for 2,600 years. Levan, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to, we've, we've run out of time. I'm going to have to leave it there. We will continue to follow the story. Levan Vazadze is talking to us from the capital city of Georgia, Tbilisi. Thank you so much for coming on the show.